You want some fish? You want a fish? No, even they won't eat the fish. Oh, that really sucks. <laughs> okay. See, this is reserved for certain cats. <laughs> Okay, umbrella time. Alrighty. Oh, they won't eat the fish. They don't want it. Okay, see you later. I don't know. Not many fish like not many cat like yeah. it, like it. Some but not many. In the hat, in the pants. Yeah. Pants food. Yeah, 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 they like that. Yeah. Yeah, I waste my money. No, this fish is very cheap. I buy this in, uh, you know, you tell me go to the restaurant for the rice. Yeah. I buy opposite from that restaurant this fish. It's about 40, 40 pesos something. It's very, very cheap. So. Okay, i see you later. You tell me when you have day off. But yeah, but tell me in the morning, not not in the night time. Yeah, maybe for the next week. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we make a plan. Yeah, yeah okay. Alright. Alright. We're going to make our way to the cat park. Every park is a cat park, but there's one I like more than the others. Because <laughs> I know all the cats quite well. And the love of my life, Kitten lives there. Little Quill. I've taken better care of her than any other cat. For a long time when she was a kitten, I brought her fresh salmon every single day to make sure she had the strength to fight for her other food. And she did. She got strong and she got tough and she got assertive. And now the other cats don't push her around. God, I hate these, I hate these sales bullshit things. No, no. God, they are like flies here, like mosquitoes. Sometimes you have to say no four or five times and they keep shoving that pamphlet at you. It really pisses me off. In, in uh, Vietnam, they're much more aggressive about it. In Bangkok, they're very aggressive about it also. Okay. So, I'm not going through High Street. That's just too, too damn crowded, too unpleasant. Look for a chance to cross here. 
this is one way so when they stop the traffic upstream you can usually get across Let's see if this guy's gonna go for it you don't walk in front of motorbikes when the when the ground is wet because they'll try to keep from hitting you and uh, they'll usually if they're inexperienced they'll lock up their rear wheel in about 1.2 seconds they're down on the ground spinning and sliding so people continue to do it though they walk right in front of a motorbike on a slick street okay Just a rainy day tour of Uptown BGC. Uh, better than a lot of places, not as not as livable as some places. It's safe and it's clean. Oh shit, I missed the light. Oh, good wind, good wind. I like the wind because it cools off the cameras. This is my typhoon proof umbrella. We'll see if that holds out. Good luck I'm trying to claim on a warranty. Okay, now it's, it's raining, so the cats are going to be underground somewhere. Wherever the hell they go. God, they're good at sneaking into some little holes. Jeez. But if they are out, they know exactly what an umbrella is for and they'll head right to get under that umbrella and they'll just stay there and try to snuggle up if you let them. Try to get warm because it's 90 degrees and about probably 94% humidity. But to the cats, they're cold. Check this one. This, there's one over here that he's probably under the little garbage cans. It's the only shelter he's got. And he's pretty raggedy and he's pretty lonely and he's usually sick. And I've never I really interacted with him much because he won't come out. He's domesticated, but oh, that wind's getting strong. Is he down there? No, he's not there. Where is he? He's not in a bush. So even he has a... He's found another hidey hole that he can go into, and I have no idea where it is. I'm going to take this... I don't know if this camera will fit. I'm going to take a camera and poke it down into the sewer someday and see if I can see where the little bastards live down in there. Yeah, I'll do that very soon. I'm just curious if we can find their little tunnels or find their little warm, dry, hidey holes or whatever. Okay, we'll go this way. I got a lot of food for them today. But of course, probably can't find him. I'd like to go over and get some coffee, but it's lunch hour. And I hate trying to deal with the loud crowds at these outdoor little coffee places. Yeah, there's like eight of them just went in there. Son of a bitch. Ah.
when the people aren't there it's really pleasant but <laughs> a lot of places are pleasant when the people aren't there Hawaii used to be pleasant before the people got there wind for a few minutes anyway. I'll go over here in the corner do the universal cat call. That's where they always come from. They always come from this corner and for the life of me I can't figure out where they're coming out of. Oh what the hell. That's a nice rainy day. Nice rainy day. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice rainy day. I got the shutter speed is set fast on this, so you probably can't see the rain. Probably just a blur, but a nice rainy day. I like this. Another million dollar rain, like the farmers in Iowa would would call it. Not too hard. Good soaking. Pretty much straight down. No wind to blow the crops away. Not too much rain, so it's not flooding them out. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll go look for some cats. I know they're in their holes somewhere. They're very secretive about it. it means they're smart. always come from this corner and I can't for the life of me figure out where they're coming from. And I come over here and I give the universal cat call and, and they don't come out and then I go sit down and five minutes later they come out. But from where? I do not know. I just not there. Where the hell do they go? I'm gonna put trackers on them. See where they go. Their little penguin holes under Gotham City. Ugh. No dry place to sit here. BGC doesn't believe in decent benches. They don't believe in covers at all. So kind of a pain in the ass. Well, I gotta go over and do some grocery shopping, so. Old girlfriend works there, so I have to keep a wary eye not to uh, catch her attention. Uh, pretty much all you get in BGC is old uh, girlfriends. I mean, not, not, not old in years, but X, X, X. I haven't had any of them last more than three months. It just drove me stark raving mad. A couple of them I just took their stuff down, put it in the lobby while they were at work, left a note on it. Bye bye, good luck. Be seeing you. Not. A lot of them won't clean house. Uh, among the Filipinos, an awful lot of them that aren't very personally hygienic. Southeast Asia, I found the girls to be very hygienic, very personally clean. Not so much in Philippines, I don't know why. But it's a it's not a big problem for me. I'm not anal retentive about it, but it's something of a problem. You know, it's something of a problem. I, I can tell you stories, but I'm not going to because they're too damn gross. God. I just turned off by that crap. Jeez. Thai girls were clean to the nth degree. Really kind of more than was necessary. And Vietnamese and Laos and 
Cambodia, every country I lived in, girls were way cleaner than American girls, that's for sure, way cleaner. But in the Philippines, they're not, maybe not quite as clean as American girls, I don't know. It takes, you know, you live in these countries, it takes a minimum two years before you even get a feel for them. I was, I lived here uh, over 10 years ago and I was getting a feel for the place and I didn't like it. I didn't like anything I felt. And I left and I kind of cheered when the plane took off. And then after 10 years of bumping around Southeast Asia, I thought, well, let's try it. Let's, let's go back here and try it again, you know. And uh, no, I like it. I like it less now than I did 10 years ago, so. Mostly it's the government. The government is incredibly intrusive. Incredibly intrusive. Pretty much almost to communism. And the people don't know any better, so they just accept it. And Filipino, Filipinos are, are very uh, modest and unassuming and quiet and non-confrontational. And pretty much no matter what the government does, they're just... Okay, and so the government says, yeah, okay, well, now we're going to do even more. And the Filipinos say, okay, and it's just been going like that for freaking generations. So the government does whatever crazy harebrained damn thing it wants, and the Filipinos say, okay, suck. Yeah, in America, we got a lot of strife and a lot of bullshit and a lot of confrontation. But the America, the, the government doesn't get away with nearly as much bullshit as it does in, in the Philippines. Singapore is a little bit like that too. Uh, Singaporeans, I think, are mostly Malays, which is which is the population of Philippines. So Singaporeans just say, okay. Pretty much no matter what. It's like, geez, you can stand up on your own two cloven hooves a little bit, can't you? No, it's okay. Don't make waves. Waves are bad. That was a pretty good tour of the uh, 30 track park or track 30 park or whatever the hell it's called. It's a nice tour. No crowds. Nice rainy day. I should have slowed the shutter down because it's darkish. But we'll see how it turns out. And not a not a trace of the hair of a single cat. Very depressing. Okay. When I finish this turn around the park, then I go shopping. At least I can get into my building now. It's key card control going in and going out. And going out. You want to go to the pool? It's three key card check stations to get to the pool. And then one of the admin will run out with a clipboard, and make you sign a form saying you're at the pool. Okay. And then when you leave, you got to sign a little thing saying you're checking out of the pool. It's very intrusive, but um, my lease was up almost a year ago, my, my annual lease, and we chose not to renew it, just go month by month, and that has totally flummoxed the building's computers. They, they don't know what to do with that. So every month, my key card expires. Sometimes it expires just because it's a piece of shit, and it, and it goes out, you know, it fails. But for the times when it's not just naturally failing, um, the computer just turns it off and I can't go in or out. Well, there's a 24 hour guard down there, but sometimes he's not there. Sometimes he's in the bathroom. So you gotta stand outside in 104 degree heat, clickety clacking on the door, you know, please let me in. Or you got an appointment, you got a taxi waiting outside, you can't get out because there's no guard on duty. It's bullshit.
and the owner and, and I and everybody have gone down to, to admin I don't even know how many times I said please just make this automatic renew every month just just automatically renew the key card every month. Uh, okay we'll do that well they've never done it once so every single month without fail now it fails without fail it fails and so mine was out for three days this time staff was on holiday and then weekend couldn't uh, reinstate the card so I had to argue with the guards to get in and out. I see them four or five times a day. They all know me by first name. They all know my unit. When my card doesn't work, they'll grill you. Well, are, are you sure you live here? What? I've been here two years. You see me every damn day. What the hell are you talking about? Well, are you sure you have a, a contract, you know? Is it okay if you go in the building? Yes. God damn it. Yes. Is it okay if you go out? Yeah! Watch me kick the fucking door open! God damn it! And that's what you go through every time. Two or three days, every month, plus the times the key card just fails spontaneously for no reason that anyone has ever figured out. So, I just got mine back today. Quite happy. Jesus. Okay, no cats. No cats anywhere. Not a single one. Oh, that sucks. I missed out. I bet they're hungry because it's been really raining for like three days. Typhoon. There was a typhoon and this is the, like the tail end of the typhoon. Okay, well, we'll be done. Going shopping. You want, you want the camera to keep running while I go over to the store yeah might as well what the hell you can see more of BGC see if you want to live here I loved it for the first first three months totally in love with it and then after three months I had a few little lingering doubts you know it was just a little too sterile and then after six months my doubts became more serious I was supposed to uh, go up north and take over a big little ship project to refit the ship and that's been uh, that's been extended by eight eight months now uh, another loud Filipino back here they just got to be loud they, you know this whole idea of just talking loud enough to be heard you know that's that's alien concept to them they gotta yell. They just have to yell. Because they want people three quarters of a walk away to hear what they have to say. God, it gets on your nerves after a while. Americans are considered loud in some Scandinavian countries. And to them it's really offensive. Okay. Filipinos are loud by American standards. So imagine if you put Filipinos in in some of these Scandinavian countries. Um, I was on a tram or a bus or a subway or some damn thing in Singapore years and years ago and there was a, a sign up on the on the wall above the seats like a like an advertisement but it wasn't an advertisement it was a sign put up there by the government and I asked somebody to translate it for me and it said something to the effect of uh, you know you are in Singapore now Please refrain from loud, boisterous activity. Please keep your voices down to normal indoor levels, or something like that, something along those lines. And it assigned Singapore, you know, government. Um, what language was that in? Only one language on that sign. It was Tagalog, Filipino language. Okie dokie, going shopping.